Hi, I'm John, and this is a product spotlight. I have a model from Rapido here, so let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale CP Angus van. This is Canadian Pacific number 434544. This comes from Rapido, and it lists for $99.95 US. And while we're looking at it, you're going to see why. It comes with a bunch of additional documentation, including instructions. The instructions explain how to turn the lights on and off. That's right, it has working lights. How cool is that? It also comes with the wand that you use to turn the lights on and off, an additional bag of parts that you can install if you're trying to model this caboose as it appeared later in its service life. While we're at it, why don't I mention that you want to check out the Rapido Trains website to see if they have the ones you're looking for. Looking at the side, you can see that the paint on this model and markings are practically perfect. It has the, some people don't like this, but it has what some of us refer to as a Pac-Man logo over here. And then if you look, these are separately applied curved grabs, one on each end. And you can see from this angle that the end grabs, which we'll look at a little closer in a minute, also are very finely rendered wire separately applied detail parts. The smoke jacks on the top also separately applied. There's even a little antenna on the roof that's separately applied as well as a little vent on the roof that's separately applied. We'll look at that stuff when we look at the top of the model. Also, you can see that there's a lot of detail present underneath, and this is all separately applied stuff. Again, we'll look at that when we examine the underside of the car. And if you're looking carefully, you can see that the windows can open and close on the cupola. These little grabs I mentioned before are super fine, thin wire grabs. They're very durable. You can see that the step well has safety striping, and these stairs are actually photo etched see-through steps. If you look carefully, you can see it also has uncoupling lever detail. And let me just turn the car, and you can see from the other angle, the hose detail here, also present. If you look kind of inside there, you can see that's a separately applied brake wheel as well. Here's a quick look at the other side of the caboose. And if you look, there's a lot of different underbody detail visible from this side. And looking at the other end of the car, you can see it has all that same kind of detail, including the uncoupling levers and brake line detail. And I'm taking this additional shot with the door in there lit up because I wanted to show how good that looks. I mean, it looks like it should open. It doesn't, but it looks like it should. And as I mentioned before, looking at the roof of the car, these are separately applied smoke jacks and all of this little detail here, including these little vents, it's all separately applied as well as the antenna. One of the things I always really enjoy about Rapido models is the level of underbody detail. It is just insane how much detail they fit into these models. And I'm talking about all this separately applied stuff. And I'm also talking about the fact that what's on this side of the car is different from what's on this side of the car. So you get a different view depending on which side of the car you're looking at. I think that's a level of detail that everyone should strive for. It's just amazing to see how much detail they can fit into a car like this. I mentioned the see-through steps a minute ago, and something I just noticed, I didn't see this when I was looking at it from the top, but look, the entire walkway is see-through. The way the lights work is pretty clever. When track power is applied, the interior lights stay on, but you can turn the marker lights on the end of the caboose you're looking at by using the wand. That way you can control which marker lights are on. You don't want your marker lights on both sides all the time. 
because they're supposed to designate the rear of the train. That's pretty cool. This may be the best model of a caboose or van or way car that I've ever seen. Not only does it have all that separately applied detail all over the sides and top and the opening windows and the working lights, just everything, but it also has all that amazing detail on the underbody. Rapido is really to be commended for their commitment to this level of detail. I'm not sure that anyone does detail the same as Rapido. So great job. I can't wait to see more and I'll see you next time.